what we have here is a solenoid okay and you have a battery alternator so right now there is no current flowing through the solenoid and i have a compass you know this and if you see right now it is pointing in one direction and if i bring this compass now close to the coil close to the coil uh, there is no deflection right i'm trying to put it inside the solenoid and you can see there is no deflection let me put it inside from here yeah there is no deflection right okay so uh, let's look at the solenoid i have probably kept the space so that i can put the compass right let's look at how it is connected it is connected to the positive side uh, one end is connected to the positive of the battery eliminator Do you know what's a battery eliminator right now okay and so which end goes let's see this is the end which goes to the positive 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 and positive all right so okay so uh, this end goes to the positive end and let's look at the winding how it is done it the current will go this direction the current will go in this direction so for you the current will be going in the anti-clockwise direction so let's use our right hand thumb rule all right right here yeah, let's use right hand thumb rule so how does it go Hold your fingers and you have your thumb and let's point in the direction so let's point the thumb in the direction of the current so how is the direction of the current here is your positive current goes like this over here so current is going here like this so all these places your direction of the magnetic field will be curled out like this correct and when it comes over here what will happen see what will happen this will be current is going this direction so field will come out so field will come out like this all right then the again the uh, current is gone down current is gone down like this so it's gone this way down down so every time it will come out again it will come up from here so if i look if i look at my hand the current is going anti clockwise and all the time the field is coming out so from here over here all the field lines will come out like this field will come out and they will go back into the other side of the coil all right so if the field is coming out from here if the magnetic field is coming out from here what pole should be here it should be the north pole north pole should be found over here right okay and let's have a look at the full uh, solenoid okay so this is the coil it goes in this direction have a look there is spacing and this has a very fine coating which you might not be exactly able to see it very clearly but there is fine coating we have kept some space doesn't matter i have kept some extra space here just to put in the compass all right and this is the other end of the coil where over here now if i look at if i look over here uh, since the current was flowing in this direction what will happen current is flowing in this direction right current is flowing like this let me uh, start from here so positive so current is gone like this so this negative so current is going in this one direction correct so let's come at this side of the coil over here the current is going back to the battery limiter so the current is going back so it is from this angle it is like this so when i come on this side of the coil what do i see is the direction of the current is now this way correct the direction of the current is going out like this so what is this direction for you for you the direction is clockwise direction so what will happen now if i use my right hand thumb rule what will happen for the coil the current is going in this direction so all the field will go inside the solenoid all right so the field strength over here inside the solenoid will be very very strong okay whereas compared to outside will be very very weak all right so now let's switch on the experiment and let's see what happens so uh, let's switch on right now when i place the compass the side of the uh, solenoid i don't see any deflection and i'll uh, switch on my battery eliminator all right okay so here we go you see a very slight deflection it's slightly moved correct let me switch it off okay let me put the compass the other side of the solenoid okay and let me just wait for it to stabilize it and then let me switch on you see a slight deflection Okay, because the magnetic field outside the solenoid is weak. All right. Now what I'll do is you remember the direction. All right. I'll keep the solenoid, keep the compass a little bit far, and let me switch on now. Here we go. One, two, three. You don't see any deflection. So the magnetic field 
is not reaching up to here it is dying off somewhere here it's very very weak outside right now what i'll do is just have a look at the compass i'll take the compass and place it in front of the solenoid okay so here we go i'm trying to stabilize it so that you see the red terminal has pointed the uh, one direction only right let me take it out and the repetition comes up okay now if i let me take this compass on the other side of the solenoid and see what happens right here we go so here the field was coming out so let me go in and you can see it's completely gone the other side correct right now let me try to place it outside uh, let me try to fit in so still the red pointer is on this side so let me bring it over here let me bring the compass inside this solenoid and see the reflection yeah. so if you see it all times whether i place it at this corner or i place it at this corner or i bring it at the center the red dot is always pointing one direction that means all the field lines are pointing in one direction only